Hello, dear friends. We continue our series of episodes about Wuyishan. Today we're going to talk about an interesting place called Tongmukwan. The development of Goroi region as a tourist destination started in the mid-80s. The interest in Wuyishan kept increasing, resulting in the rapid recovery of the tea industry and cultural revival from a period of stagnation. The tea plantations have significantly increased in size. Right now we're in the Tongmu region. It's not far away from the famous Tongmu Guan, a Wuyishan nature reserve. Almost everybody in this area grows Zhao Jun red tea. The tea is grown in the traditional way, and it differs from the Yan Cha cliff tea growing method. It doesn't grow on or between the cliffs, but is mainly concentrated in the plains. Moreover, bushes don't get very tall in height. This is a standard tea growing method. Zhao Jun leaves are long but narrow, and they're smaller than Yan Cha leaves, resulting in a better harvest. The final harvest of the plain tea is larger than that of cliff tea. This region is mainly focused on growing this particular kind of tea. There are lots of tea production workshops. Every single family is involved in the process in one way or another. As we can see, a new tea factory is under construction right now. Every single house can be considered tea factory. Right now it's an active period of blossoming and flowering. The flowers are beautiful, with a wonderful scent. There are bees all over this region, including wild bees. High quality honey is produced in this region. By the way, very impressive tea seeds can be found. Later on, they'll be harvested and planted. The tea can be produced in many different ways depending on the grade or cultivar or individual preferences of the manufacturers. At the same time, locals who lived in the mountains were forced to move to the lowland areas. The village of Tongmuguan is very likely the only place where inhabitants are still present. It consists of several farms located in a natural reserve. Tongmu is a homeland of the famous Jan Cha Zhao Gu tea, Wei Shan Red Smoked Cliff tea, and its younger brother Jin Jun Mei. Oolong is also partially produced, including the rare and exclusive Mei Jin Guan. In Russian, this tea is called White Coxcomb, or Bai Ji Guan. Bai means white. The color of the leaf is white. That's why we call it white coxcomb. These bushes are six years old. They're perfectly fine, despite the fact that they are so small sized. In fact, Bai Ji Guan is usually artificially grown and sold as fake. There's no internet connection here. Chemical fertilizers are totally prohibited and construction is under strict regulations. It's not easy for a regular traveler to get to this place. You need to get a special permit issued by the administration of the nature reserve. This place is breathtaking. The city is higher than the cliff region of Wuyishan. The nature is untouched by humans and so the air is clean and fresh. We're by the river called Tongmu. In Russian, it's called Tongmuika. It's on the way to the nature reserve in Wishan, the village of Tongmuguan, homeland of Zhao Mu Jun. Now we're heading towards the magnificent waterfalls. Enjoy your tea.